How are mixed numbers and improper fractions related? In today's lesson, you will learn how to write mixed numbers as improper fractions and how to write improper fractions as mixed numbers. First, let's over, go over some vocabulary. A mixed number is going to be a whole number and a fraction. So for example, if I had 2 and 3 fourths, that would be considered a mixed number because our whole number is 2 and our fraction is 3 fourths. An improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is greater than or equal to its denominator. So for example, 4 thirds. In this example, 4 thirds, the numerator is 4 and the de denominator is 3. Because 4 is greater than 3, this would be an improper fraction. First, let's change an improper fraction to a mixed number. We know that an improper fraction is a number whose numerator is greater than its denominator. So if I were to have the fraction 20 ninths, that would be improper because the numerator, 20, is greater than 9, which is the denominator. The way we want to change improper fractions to mixed numbers is to divide our numerator by our denominator. And we can set that up using a regular long division problem. So we'll put 20 here, 20 divided by 9, and just solve it like a regular long division problem. We know that 9 goes into 20 two times, so we'll put the 2 over the 1's place. 9 times 2 is going to be 18, and we want to find that difference. So we'll regroup to 0 to become 10, regroup this 2 10's into oops, to just 1 10, and we find that our difference is going to be 2. 9 can't go into 2 anymore, so that makes our remainder 2. For us to change this into a mixed number, we'll take the divisor, 2, and that will be our whole number. Then we'll take our remainder, also 2, and write that as a fraction where 2 is the numerator, and write that over our original denominator of 9. So, for us to change 20 ninths into, whoops, for us to change 20 ninths into a mixed number, it becomes 2 and 2 ninths, or 2 wholes and 2 ninths. Now let's learn how to change mixed numbers to improper fractions. Let's work with 2 and 2 ninths again. When we set up our, our mixed number fraction like this, an easy way for us to do that is to then take our whole number, multiply it by our denominator, and then add that to the numerator. So what that becomes is 2 times 9 plus 2. And we know that 2 times 9 is going to be 18. And 18 plus 2 is 20. So once we have found that number, we put that over our original denominator of 9. So 2 and 2 ninths, as an improper fraction, becomes 20 ninths, or 20 over 9. Now it's your turn. We have two problems. The first one is to write 4 and 1 half as an improper fraction. And the second is to write 22 thirds as a mixed number. At this point in time, feel free to pause the video, solve these two problems on your own, and then restart the video to check your answer. All right, let's go over it. Let's start with the first one, writing four and a half as an improper fraction. So what we can do is to write four and one half here. We know what we're going to want to do is multiply the whole number by the denominator and then take that and add it to the numerator. So that becomes 4 
times 2 plus 1. 4 times 2 is equal to 8 plus 1. That's going to be 9. Then we're going to take that number and put it over our original denominator. So 4 and 1 half becomes 9 halves, or 9 over 2. Now let's solve this one, writing 22 thirds as a mixed number. So we have 22 thirds. We know that 22 is the numerator and 3 is the denominator. So we'll want to divide the numerator by the denominator. So that becomes 22 divided by 3. Based off of multiplication, we know that 3 doesn't go into 2, but 3 does go into 22 7 times. So I'll write a 7 over the 1's value. 3 times 7 is going to be 21. Subtract that difference. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. We're left with the remainder of 1. The 7 becomes our whole number, so that's 7. And then we take our remainder, 1, and write that as a new numerator over our old denominator of 3. So 22 thirds as a mixed number is 7 and 1 thirds. In this lesson, you've learned how to write mixed numbers as fractions and how to write improper fractions as mixed numbers.